A ruling from an appeals court could put the city of Highland Park in a world of hurt. That ruling reinstates a $21 million unpaid water bill. And that's a number the city of less than 10,000 just cannot afford. Rod Maloney live with more on this. It is a lot of money for a very small town, Rod. Devin, to give you an idea just how bad this is for the city of Highland Park, their annual budget is about three and a half million dollars. So this judgment is six times higher than that. And so now Mayor Hubert Yop telling me tonight that the city's future is looking quite bleak. This is it just devastates us. The appeals court ruling says Highland Park will have to make good on the $21 million bill that other Metro Detroit communities have angrily been paying for years. Mayor Yop, who's rounding out his last months in office, told Local 4 today. We're a small indigent city. We've had three emergency financial managers in this city. We now have businesses moving into our city. People are moving in. We're beginning to grow, and now we got Gliwa, stopping that progress. It's mind-blowing to me, for real. <laughs> Most residents like Laquisha Henderson here didn't even know and are now worried about what may or may not come from their taps in the days ahead. Yes, we're very concerned because it's not just us. We have our children and our elderly people that needs that water. A decade ago, the city's water plant shut down because of water quality issues. It ended up getting water from Detroit and then the Great Lakes Water Authority after the bankruptcy with the state getting involved. They ended up fighting over whether Highland Park needed to pay back bills and the city's now lost. Now what? We're just going to have to ask the state to step in or we're going to have to try to appeal this to the Supreme Court. We got to make every effort to save this city. They need to figure it out because we this is our tax money. We we helping them pay it. So why is why is it a problem? And so for its part, the Great Lakes Water Authority is saying tonight that they're open to trying to figure out a way to make sure that the water keeps flowing in Highland Park, but somebody's got to pay for it, which means it's likely to head up to Lansing. The state is likely going to have to get involved and the possibility of an emergency financial manager, a fourth one now for Highland Park, looms large. Back to you. Well, Rod, we remember when this first came to light, those other communities who uh, were mm -hmm. adamant that they were, should not be on the hook for Highland Park's money woes. What are you hearing from them today? Well, I talked to uh, Rick St uh, Stathakis, uh, Stathakis, excuse me, I get the pronunciation right, uh, from Shelby Township, and he was most upset back in March when this whole battle first started right. really blazing, and he said it's theft, it's outright theft. He was very happy to hear about this because he says his taxpayers shouldn't be paying for the water of people in Highland Park. Boy, but where is it going to come from? All right, Rod.